A who's who of politics attended today's state funeral for Sir Zelman Cowan, the former Governor-General. More than a thousand mourners packed the Melbourne synagogue for the service. Sir Zelman was remembered for his brilliant academic career, his devotion to family, his faith and for helping heal the bitter divisions following the dismissal of the Whitlam government. Lisa Maximovic reports. Sir Zelman Cowan married his wife, Lady Anna, at the Temple Beth Israel in 1945. It's here she said her goodbyes. Their 66-year marriage was described as the perfect partnership and a love that knew no bounds. It was indeed the great, inspiring love affair. Sir Zelman died last Thursday evening after a long battle with Parkinson's disease. He was 92. It virtually took away his ability to speak. Dad's response to this was not anger nor even irritation. He was cast into and accepted an entire new modality of listening. Among the thousand strong congregation, a who's who of Australian politics, past and present, and the Governor General Quentin Bryce, a former law student of Sir Zelman's. During a two hour service, friends and relatives spoke of his brilliant law career, academic achievements, commitment to education, and his incomparable moral compass. He was a colossus whose public life had few parallels. It was his role as Australia's 19th Governor-General from 1977 to 1982 that earned him recognition for healing a nation. Appointed to the position after Sir John Kerr dismissed the Whitlam government, it was hoped Sir Zelman would bring stability. What superannuated old fool would wish for such an appointment? <laughs> Zelman was later to say, the only issue he would take with him was he wasn't superannuated. His Jewish faith was prominent throughout the service. He survived by his wife and their four children. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News, Melbourne.